What's happening, achievers? I just see you here from Invincible Achievers. Let's start off with a story. Within the ocean of the Florida Keys, there was a man that was swimming down deeper, going down towards the ocean floor. He was wearing all his scuba gear. This was male fisherman. He was swimming down looking for treasure. He was a, tre a struggling treasure hunter and he had been doing this for 16 years. As he was swimming, he always had clarity. He could think clearly within the ocean. And there was no distractions. He started thinking back of when he was young, when he used to live on his father's chicken farm and how he used to play outside with the chickens, pretending that he was a pirate and he was looking for treasure and the chickens were all the people that he had to battle and he would go through looking for the, for the chickens, for the treasure. And from there, he would become the richest and wealthiest pirate on the sea. But he also knew at that time that his father was struggling. He remembered to the time when he had left the chicken farm and went to California to open up the first diving shop. And he thought it would be a success, but as he stood at the counter, he remembered how he used to look out to the ocean always wanting to be on the ocean and under the ocean, swimming, looking for the treasure. As he carried on swimming, he carried on thinking. He carried on thinking about his past. He could see the ocean floor in the distance. It was a bit blurry, but he remembered a time when customers came into his diving shop speaking about a treasure that had sunk near the Florida Keys. A treasure, a Spanish ship holding over a billion dollars worth of treasure had sunk in 1622 and nobody could find it. That was enough. That was enough to get Mel to leave his shop and to open up his treasure hunting business. Every single day, he would go and stand at the on the front of his, his boat and shout, today is the day. And they would sail out. But every single day he would come back empty handed. But he never gave up his hope, his dream. Every single day, overcoming the challenge of failure. He would stand at the front and shout, today is the day and that would motivate him and they would sail out, but again, every single day, coming back with nothing. Now Mal was swimming closer to the, to the floor now. He could see in the distance the ground coming closer. He was swimming, swimming, thinking. He could see the fish. It was very tranquil. He also remembered he remembered a time when his son and his daughter-in-law had gone off looking for treasure, doing the family business. But then he had got the news, the dreadful news, the horrific news that their ship had capsized. He lost his son and his daughter-in-law 10 years back. That was a time when Mel had decided that he would never go back on the ocean the ocean had taken his son and his daughter-in-law. He would never venture back out there. He was depressed. He was sad. He was grieving. He couldn't overcome this. His wife could see that this was the end of their business. So his wife sat down next to him and said, Mel, do it for your son. And that was enough. That was enough for the motivation. That was enough to reignite the fire, to do it for a, a different purpose now. Before he was pursuing his dreams, now he would stand at the front of his boat and shout, today is the day. And in his mind, he would say, 
I do it for you, son. And he would say aloud. And every day he would come back with nothing. But still, he had a new motivation. As he reached the seafloor, he could see in the distance there was something lurking, something. Oh, it's oh, it, it was too blurry to make out, so he started swimming closer. And as he got closer to this, he realized it was a ship, but it was a real broken down ship. And he didn't know if this was the actual ship that he was looking for. And he knew he should not go inside to explore because there could be dangers lurking inside. The ship could be fragile, it could break on him. There could be sharks in there. He was meant to go up to get people to come down and help him. But curiosity got over him. He was overcome with curiosity. So he decided to swim through an open hatch. As he swam through the open hatch with his torch, swimming through the corridors of the ship, he reached a door and he began to open this door. And as he opened the door, fear struck on his face. He, could, he started breathing real deep. He moved back. He didn't know what it was. And then he leaned forward and that fear, that fear, that the face, the facial of fear transcended into a smile. And in his mind, he said, son, today is the day. Mel Fisherman had discovered the shipwreck the shipwreck of 1622, the Spanish ship that held over a billion dollars worth of treasure. He had found half of it. He had discovered 450 billion, $450 million worth of treasure. He never gave up. He kept persevering, even when he lost his child and his, and his daughter-in-law to the sea. He never gave up. It took him 16 years. How long would you have taken? How long would you have continued pursuing your dream? One year, two years, three years, 16 years? Guys, we should never give up. We should keep pursuing our dreams. If we've got something in our mind that we wanna do, then keep moving forward, keep moving forward, find a way. If you, cannot, if you cannot find a way, then make a way. There's always a way, just discover it and just keep moving forward. Guys, keep adding value, keep spreading the love, keep persevering, never, ever, ever give up. Keep moving forward. If you've got a reason to do something, and that reason is driven to, in adding value to other people's lives and not just yourself, it's a greater motivation. So use that just like Mel Fisherman and become, achieve your goals and become what you wanna become. And remember, we're just one idea away from changing the future. Take care, guys.